This is Lafayette Live with Mike Piggott, Mary Meislewick, and Weather with Ron Rhodes. TV 18 News at Noon. Good afternoon. A man was seriously injured when a train hit him in rural Tippecanoe County. The accident happened on the Norfolk Southern tracks close to the intersection with County Road 900 East. Crew members on the train told county police the man's legs were lying across one of the rails. But by the time they saw him, it was too late to stop the 14-car freight train. The man's name was not available. He was taken to home hospital for treatment. Obviously, that was the wrong tape. Um, we'll get that to you as soon as possible. It was standing room It was standing room only at the Morton Community Center last night as nearly 200 citizens turned out to voice their concerns on the sale of the building to the city of West Lafayette. The West Lafayette School Board held the meeting to see how the community felt about the city's offer of $650,000. The board has had some hesitation over the price after its own assessment came in at nearly 1.4 million been a big difference between what I want, delicious, and what mom thinks I need, nutritious. It's a good thing Colonial is introducing new Iron Kids bread. A bread with all the fiber, iron, and other important nutrients of whole wheat bread, plus the look, feel, and taste of white bread. Sure, mom and I will always have our differences. Nutritious. Delicious. But Iron Kids bread is one thing we both